Vince, as uh, we take a look at the tail of the tape. The uh, height and reach of these two fighters are extraordinary. Sports Even Arena here in Los Angeles, California. At this time, we present our next special attraction, Showtime, as sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and AT&T's largest 4G network, AT&T Rethink Possible. And is sanctioned by the WBC, President Jose Suleiman, the undefeated. Right. Ten rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Continental America. the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of Pensacola, Kelvin Price. Oh. Right, fighting out of the blue corner in this ten-round championship attraction. Introducing Deontay Wilder. We got a mouthpiece in there. Yes, sir. Mouthpiece. Gentlemen, this is good. This is my commands. Touch gloves. God bless. Ray Corona, the referee. Wait, Wait, prospects it. Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, the least experienced, Beijing. the only one to medal. In fact, he was the last U.S. boxer to win. And went 29 and 5 as an amateur, undefeated as a pro, 25 and 0 with 25 knockouts, with six wins by way of knockout. But in terms of physical attributes, almost don't mirror images. Refrigerator. Well, Wilder has 15 first-round KOs, so don't go to the refrigerator. <laughs> He's going to reverberate yes. through the whole arena. Both men want to control the action. Deontay Wilder or the undefeated Brian Jennings are the top American prospects right now. Christ, they've really been turning heads across the pond, Alan. You know very well I'm talking about the 6'8 undefeated David Price. Tyson Fury and Wilder, uh, they talked about uh, Wilder a wonderful match. Well, the heavyweight division these days, really the land of giants. Fury at 6'9, the two headed monster, the uh, Klitsch Vladimir at 6'6. Six, six, so. A lot of uh, tall trees. Aren't there any? Aren't there any point guards in the heavyweight division? <laughs> Trying to land the overhand right a couple times and just barely missed. He was throwing a, a non-committal jab. Yeah, Wilder's on. been stalking, but not really throwing a lot of points. Sixth fight of the year for Wilder. Came out of nowhere to surprise people, and now he is a wildly popular figure back so in the so state so of awesome. Alabama. He and uh, his manager and trainer, uh, JDs. Literally, there's a Wilder's right. body with a couple of right hands. A bit of a feeling out process here in round. One under 45 seconds left. And again, Price connects to the body with that right hand. He really has a tendency, Paulie, to keep that left hand very low. And, and Wilder, known for that ferocious right hand, is able to connect. There. It seems like both guys are a little bit tentative on the offense. Price is getting off a little more, but he's not committed. Wilder, when he does throw, commits a little more, but he's not getting off much. So I really have never been in the ring with a guy that big as each other. Well, and for Wilder, has really been moved along slowly as the heavyweight division. Price considered a step between these undefeated heavyweights. Well, Sunday, starting at 9 p.m., it's the season finale. And others as well. <laughs> Both have some issues, don't they, to work through? Both in trouble. And these two undefeated heavyweights will try to work through their issues. Price comes forward. There's the chance. You know, in our first uh, match, uh, this one a little different Price in round one. It's a slightly different tenor than the Angulo uh, We're got it, guys. We're fight got against it. Up, uh, hooking up with uh, Roy Jones uh, Sr. in Pensacola, Florida. He's trainer for many years. Played in the CBA with Roy Jones, and he said, you know, hook up with my dad if you want to get in boxing, and he did. Right hand just grazes on, work, the man. chin of go. Price. As we fight. go on here. Well, he seems in shape. Maybe he's been playing basketball in the meantime. Apparently. His big win was against Tor Hamer in uh, 2010. Hamer, of course, went on to win the prize fighter in, in England. Three years, in fact, and uh, they were supposed to meet this past uh, summer. Three, it's taking place right here, right now, as Wilder sticks out the jab. Nice uppercut a moment ago by, by uh, Price. Guys. Let's go. Like, like, it doesn't seem like either guy has gotten really into the fight. There's a bit of awkwardness. Good right hand there by Work Price, out, but it seems like, again, like I said in the first Here's round. Up to find the next great American heavyweight, the last one turned 50 this year, Evander Holyfield. Until recently. I'm trying. Price trying to no, 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 tag no, no, Wilder, no, no, backs up, and again they come in close. Two heavyweights, 25 down, seconds down. left. Second time I told you, big dog. We're talking and about really? the Klitschko's. He impressed. The Go Brothers, while uh, helping 
them in, in training camp. In fact, uh, was told heavyweights they've ever seen, although the fans here in Los Angeles restless with the lack of action. All right, Jim Gray. The punch after all is gonna, there's gonna be a meaning for it. And, um, you know, we're gonna you know, win this fight in style as well. So, yeah, I might be a lot more patient and a lot more smarter in there. On uh, Twitter, Ali Saeed <laughs> staying up uh, very late in England, getting ready for Amir Khan's Amir Khan, the youngest uh, UK, or, uh, English boxer to win a medal in the Olympics. And, you know, he went across the Atlantic too. Oh! A slow start, but uh, unbelievable. Would use the jab as a range finder, and boom. Uh, it's well, not going to wait from a homer. He knew what happened. And he's used to that feeling. Yes, that's his 26th knockout, so he, he's experienced this. He heard a few boos from the crowd the round before, but this young man, the bronze medalist in the Olympic Games. Bombs away for the bronze bomber. What a shot. Must never get old to hit guys like that, huh? Perfect <laughs> right hand. The reason why he's 25 and old, 25 knockouts, he has that equalizer. What a right hand. In his career, he's received better sparring than, than opponents, helping, you know. Would use the jab as a range finder, and boom. Uh, it's not going away from a homer. He knew what happened. And he's used to that feeling. Yes, that's his 26th knockout, so he, he's experienced this. He heard a few boos from the crowd the round before, but this young man, the bronze medalist in the Olympic Games. Bombs away for the bronze bomber. What a shot. Must never get old to hit guys like that, huh? <laughs> Perfect right hand. Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. One second in round and number three, Deontay Wilder. Let's go to uh, Jim Gray. Would use the jab as a range finder and boom. Uh, it's not going away from a homer. He knew what happened. And he's used to that feeling. Yes, that's his 26th knockout, so he, he's experienced this. He heard a few boos from the crowd the round before, but this young man, the bronze medalist in the Olympic Games. Bombs away for the bronze bomber. What a shot. Must never get old to hit guys like that, huh? <laughs> Perfect right hand. Give him the praises when they receive it, but not only do I give him the praises when I'm up, but I also give him the glow when I'm down. Would use the jab as a range finder, and boom. Uh, it's not going away from a homer. He knew what happened. And he's used to that feeling. Yes, that's his 26th knockout, so he, he's experienced this. He heard a few boos from the crowd the round before, but this young man, the bronze medalist in the Olympic Games, away for the bronze bomber what a shot must never get old to hit guys like that huh <laughs> perfect right hand give a shout out to Clarissa Shields the first American woman to win a boxing gold at the 2012 Olympics let's go to Brian